Have you ever needed to transfer a file from an app on your iOS device to your computer or vice versa? Maybe you've got a video or a photo you want to transfer from the app to your computer without losing any quality or transfer a document to your iOS device so you can work on it on the go. Here's how to transfer files between an iOS device and a computer using iTunes file sharing. Open iTunes and connect your iOS device to your computer. In the upper left corner, click the device button. This will open the summary page for your device. In the left navigation, click on apps. This brings you to a page listing all the apps on your device. Scroll to the bottom of the page to find file sharing. The apps listed here in the left column allow files to be shared. Have a look through the documentation or release notes for your specific apps for more information related to file sharing. For this demonstration, I'm going to use Filmic Pro. I have a video I need to work on. By transferring it directly from the app, I'll avoid losing any quality compared to saving it in the camera roll and having the file compressed. The list of files and folders you can copy will be on the right in the document column. In Filmic Pro, the movies are shown at the root folder, which is not the case for other apps, and I'll show you an example in just a moment, where files are stored in a folder. Select the file or files you want to transfer. Once you've selected the files and folders, click on Save To in the bottom right. A finder window will open. Select the location where you'd like to save your files to, whether it's on the internal or an external hard drive. In this example, I'm going to be saving it to the desktop. Then click Save To in the Finder window. The download will take a moment to start and the progress will be shown here in the iTunes information window. The copy process can take a bit of time, especially if the files are large. This 1.2 gigabyte file took about 40 seconds to copy based on my computer configurations. To save time in the video, I've sped this section up. After the process is done, you can go and open your file. But before we do that, here's an example of an app that stores its files within a folder. It's the DJI Go app. Any footage taken using the Mavic or the Osmo gets saved into a few places and it's not possible to access the contents of the folder while in iTunes. You have to download the whole folder to your computer and go through the individual files. In the DJI Go app, it's saved in these two locations. And in the DJI Go 4 app, it's saved in this location. Switching over to my desktop, there's the file I've copied. Now let's transfer a file from the computer to the iOS device so we can work on it on the go. For this example, I'm going to open up Pages and create a brand new document. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to save it to the desktop. We'll go back into iTunes and in file sharing, I'll select the Pages app. I'll click Add, which will open up a Finder window. Navigate to where you've saved your document or file. Select the file or files you want to transfer and click Add. You'll see that the file is technically in iTunes. However, there's one more step we need to do on the iOS device to actually open and work on the file. Open the Pages app and tap on Locations and select where to copy the files from. In this case, I'll select iTunes. A list of files that are available to transfer will display. Select the one that you want. After it's copied over, you can open it up and there it is. Click Done to go back. It is also possible to delete files and folders through iTunes file sharing. However, I personally recommend deleting the files from within the app just to ensure that they are completely deleted along with any associated files. And there you have it, transferring files between your iOS device and your computer through iTunes file sharing. Do you have any advice on sharing files between your iOS device and your computer or vice versa? 
Which apps do you use? Leave a question or a comment in the section below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give a click to that thumbs up button, consider sharing, and please consider subscribing. Thanks again, and we'll see you in my next video.